Hey, Nerdsing here, and in this video, yes, we're going to be talking about the photography show 2019. This year, I went for three full days, I had a great time, I didn't decide to vlog there, I just wanted to enjoy the show without my camera, go with friends and family, have a good time, check out what's going on, and in this video, we're going to talk about some of the cool things I found there. So let's get started. So as most of you know, I currently work for Basic Sasaki, so most of that is filming talking heads, right? And uh, at Basics, we use the wireless uh, system from Sennheiser, the G3. I mean, now they've got the G4 out. But something uh, that was quite interesting was that they've recently brought out a digital version, which is much smaller, uh, smaller form factor, and a lot cheaper as well. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description to more information on this, uh, something that I might invest in the future, uh, mainly because of its price and, and how small they are. But uh, these, I mean, these G3s are absolutely solid and the sound you get out of them are, are spot on, but they, you know, they are big to carry and they are a bit dated. Uh, so to go digital would be quite good and then you, you, you can avoid the kind of the, the radio frequency licensing issues as well, uh, just by going digital. So that was one very cool thing I saw. Now something that I'm more well known for and passionate about is broadcasting, uh, broadcasting smogums in my space spare time and I was looking for a solution at the photography show for this where I could have this device where I can plug in multiple cameras and my audio into this device and then out comes one wire that can go into my MacBook uh, saving precious USB-C ports and I'll have my synced audio and video with separate angles and then I can broadcast in that fashion and Blackmagic made the ATEM of course I've used that once before um, which you need a separate monitor for and I don't think you can bring your audio through that unless you bring it through the camera. So I was looking for something a bit smaller, a bit cheaper. I was at the Roland stand and I may have found a solution for this. Uh, they've launched a new product uh, it's coming out in the, in the coming weeks in April 2019. Uh, it's a small device. Uh, it's kind of aimed at podcasters, YouTube podcasters, where you can have three camera angles coming in uh, 1080p you can also bring in your audio and you can do your mixing on there it also has the the video processing so out of that you can have um, a bypass which will go to a monitor so it's also used for gamers as well that's kind of the market they're going for um, but you literally have an, a USB out which goes straight into your your computer and and then it acts as a webcam so this was quite interesting However, I was at the Atomus stand, which is right next to it, and I found something even more interesting, and this is probably the main reason uh, I wanted to make this video today for you. So Atomus are a company well known for making uh, monitors that you can use uh, on top of your DSLR to have a bigger screen and look at what you're doing. Uh, some of their monitors you can also record on and something they're famous for is that they have the ProRes format so you can record in a much higher quality and RAW as well, um, which means much bigger file sizes but then if you're gonna be color grading uh, and if you're spe specifically working on Final Cut Pro uh, on the Apple system then uh, your render times are going to be, your editing times are going to be much better. Uh, so um, Atomos are very well known for that. Atomos make this product called the Sumo 19. It's, it's a big monitor, it's not what I originally thought I would be interested in. But when the guys started talking to me, I was like, wow, this is an impressive bit of kit. So it has the capability of having four inputs. Uh, that's not HDMI, it's SDI, so you'd have to convert if you, you have a, a HDMI out on your camera. Uh, you can also input your audio and then output would be um, HDMI which you could then put, you'd have to put that into some kind of encoder like uh, Atomus Make One but or you could, the Blackmagic you know, Mini Ultra Studio, whatever it's called, that's what we currently use and then that would go into your computer. So it doesn't have that thing that the Roland has. However, what this does, uh, which is just amazing really, is it records the whole show for you. So imagine this, you've got four camera angles uh, of a Samalgam plugged into this 19 inch monitor uh, and then you're taking it out into your computer and then on this monitor, it's touch screen, you choose the angle that you want to show on your broadcast and that will send that out to the broadcast. 
then you have an SSD which is plugged into this monitor and it's, it's, it's recording every single one of those four angles and it's recording the whole show. So every change that you make, it's, it's recording that as well. So when you stop your recording, it actually exports an XML file um, which then you can import into Final Cut Pro and you have your whole timeline there uh, with all the cuts that you've made and because it's record every angle individually as well if you want to actually make a change then you can you can move the the timeline or change change your angle if you were to record uh, the more conventional way it's taking a HDMI out of your broadcast or your monitor and recording that then if you were to make a mistake in your broadcast the only way to uh, change that or not show that would be to put some b-roll or something else on top of it so that is an impressive bit of kit that could really save a serious amount of time uh, editing and post as well so atomus have really solved a bunch of problems for me potentially um, and let's go through them. So it's a monitor. I've got something to actually watch all my camera angles on rather than having to go to all of them. I can record everything on one system so I don't need to have a bunch of SD cards in all my cameras and change them. Um, then in, in post, I don't have to cut all the, uh, the different camera angles together after I've edited my audio. It's literally done for me and then all I need to do is edit my audio, sync that audio to the program and then maybe just tweak the angles where, where I need to. Um, and audio is coming in to the monitor as well, so that's saving uh, one USB port on my MacBook. You still would have to sync the audio and video, but you have to do that, I think, on, on any system that you run anyway, really. There's just one issue. It's quite expensive. <laughs> You know, it's not just the monitor that you have to buy. The SSD is extremely expensive because you're filming in um, very high quality. The bit rate, I mean, I haven't done the maths yet. I, I, wor I worked it out some of it with a guy, but you know, you're gonna be talking terabytes for a program. But the idea is that you bring that into Final Cut, you edit that, export, and then you that's your compressed uh, video there and then you could just delete delete the raw files I guess however over the ATEM where um, you'd have to buy the ATEM and have a separate monitor um, you know this is this is the two combined uh, then you need to buy converters if you're you know my cameras I use the GH5 they're HDMI out so I'd need to buy converters for that and um, so yeah it's it's an expensive solution but it's an all-in-one solution. So that's probably, uh, that was probably my favorite thing from the photography show. And I'm gonna be doing a bunch of research and possibly uh, one day you might see this monitor on my desk, uh, me doing a review, or you might see me using it at a Samagam. However, I'm still on the lookout for something cheaper um, and possibly smaller because it's quite a big monitor. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so you must be thinking, Nerd saying went to the photography show and like he just went for research, he didn't actually buy anything. Well, you'll be quite surprised, I didn't actually buy anything. It was my wife who bought them for me. So, two things to show you today. Nothing too exciting on this one. Uh, Joby mount. Um, this is something that you may have seen vloggers use. Uh, something I've wanted for a while. Um, you know, the photography show, they have kind of uh, discounts and stuff. So I picked one of these up. Um, I like this one. This is the video um, Joby mount. It's the 4K one, I think. Um, so it carries kind of quite a heavy camera load. Um, my GH5 with the Sigma lens on it and mics on top, then it does get quite heavy. So I chose this one because it's the biggest, it takes the biggest load, but I also like it because it's a video head. I use Manfrotto tripods, which means I can just pull the camera off um, my tripod and the same plate fits into here. And then I can also um, then pan and tilt so I can use that for b-roll so that was one thing and the second thing was um, let me show you my camera bag okay so this is the Pro Tactic 450 um, and this is an absolute beast of a bag uh, I absolutely love it um, my laptop fits in here 
all my random cables and stuff fit in here. Lenses, two cameras, uh, audio equipment, spare batteries, I don't know. And it is, this is, this is an awesome bag, absolutely no complaints. And on the back, it's, it absolutely, oh dear, uh, it absolutely looks awesome. But sometimes you don't want to lug that around um, everywhere with you. So I've been on the look for a while for kind of a smaller, camera bag uh, but that can also um, second up as like a travel bag um, and so early 30th birthday gift from my wife which thank you very much uh, again for it I'll just show you guys boom this is peak design bag um, what's it called oh I know where it is see you know when you put things in a really, really safe place because you might need them, but then you're like, see, see, find it. Right, so this, okay, this bag has been coming up on my Facebook uh, sponsored ad like for probably two or three years. I don't know how long they've been in, in business. I think they started as a Kickstarter. Um, so subliminally, subliminally, um, I knew about this company, went to see them, and the guy there was awesome, man. He showed me this bag and ended up getting it as a birthday gift. Uh, so this is called the Everyday Backpack. This is the 20 liter one. It does come in a bigger one, which I was tempted to get, but um, because you always feel like, oh, but I could always fit more stuff in it, but that's what the other bag's for. Um, so this bag, honestly, man, check them out. If you're looking for something, I mean, it is a bit on the expensive side, however, Build quality, functionality is spot on. It's got a lifetime warranty, so if anything goes wrong with it, they just they just replace it for you. This bag is totally cool. It deserves uh, its own review. Um, so you know it'll go onto the list of things that I promised to review over the last like three years I've been running this channel uh, or two years, whatever it is. This is the other thing that I got at the photography show, which I'm super stoked about. It's, it's, it's sweet. I'm happy with it. Okay, so that was my experience at the photography show 2019. Had a great time. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. And I'll catch you in the next one. Nerd Sing Out.